Okay, we're going to be looking at a modern digital RC servo, and we want to care to com look at the speed characteristics of this servo, driving it with different frame rates or pulse rates. And we're going to compare two pulses per second and 250 pulses per second. We're running it with a sort of standard Hewlett Packard power supply. We're going to run it at a standard 5 volts. We now have the, uh, the it's a 5 amp supply, and I've got the limits uh, dialed all the way up to 5 amps. You can supply that if it's called on. I'm using a uh, Stanford Instruments uh, delay generator. And right now you can see we have it set to 250 pulses per second, or 250 hertz. We can use the delays to adjust the pulse width going to the servo between 1 millisecond and 2 milliseconds. It does an instantaneous transition from one pulse to the next when we push that button. In fact, we can see that here on the digital oscilloscope. We see that indeed it's running at 250 pulses per second. Right now the, the width is 2 milliseconds, you see there. Hit the button, now we're down to 1 millisecond. You can see those pulses. They're spaced, as you expect, by 4 milliseconds, or 250 pulses per second. So we're going to start it here at 1 hertz. And let's go down and look at our servo. There we go, let's get a nice close look, and we're at one millisecond, and now two milliseconds. Back to one millisecond, and two milliseconds. And we're going to try to slow that down so we can really uh, count the frames and see how fast it's going. So now that we've done that, let's go back to our delay generator. Let's go to the trigger menu. And uh, let's dial that up to 252 hertz. And then we'll drop this down. You can see where I'm going with this. Now we've got two pulses per second. Sure enough, our friendly trigger light there is just blinking along at a leisurely pace of two pulses per second, or one pulse every half second. And of course our digital oscilloscope is not showing anything at all because we've got to collapse the time base at least down to about 100 milliseconds per division. And sure enough, there's our pulses. And we see there, yep, we're at two pulses per second. We have a positive width right now of two milliseconds. It's not showing it very accurately simply because of resolution limit of the scope on this very slow time base. But indeed, we are running at uh, 2 hertz and 2 milliseconds. So now let's go back to 1 millisecond. Let's go back and down and look at our servo. The first thing we note on our servo is it has full holding torque, just as it would be with 250 hertz. You can see the current jumping up there as I turn it. And so now let's just switch between 1 and 2 milliseconds at this 2 hertz rate. So here we go, going from 1 to 2. There was one to two, now two to one, and then one to two, and two to one. That's just sort of a interesting tutorial on the performance of digital modern digital servo versus frame rate. Their performance is very similar. It's just they have equal speed and they're going to transit to that new position divided by the pulse width really no matter how long it takes that pulse to arrive. Thank you very much. Bye. -bye.